Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. And I am Eki. I'm happy. And this is the Happy, happy Eki After, After channel. channel. So in this channel, we talk about our life, our experiences, share some tips. We've recently relocated to Canada and that's what we're talking about now. Yeah. Where did we come from again? Uh, uh, if you are a new subscriber, you might not know this, but for the last seven years, we have been living in China, mm -hmm. had an amazing time in China, and now we have moved our family to Canada. Mm -hmm. And as promised, we have decided to keep you guys updated about how things are going for us, how we're settling down the resources we're using, and generally what it's like. Yeah, so we completed our first week here in Ottawa and we want to share with you what we did throughout the week. So let's take it from Monday. Okay, <laughs> on Monday, I think on Monday, yes, we uh, went on the website and uh, the school board website. Uh -huh. So there are two school boards, there's a public school board and a Catholic okay. school board. So we went on the Catholic school board website and applied for our son because we found that there is a Catholic school Close Just around the corner. So um, he had his assessment, assessment on Monday. Yes. And luckily for us, he, he was accepted and he would be starting grade 7 in September, which he, is great for us. He moved from primary school in China to middle school in Canada. In Canada, which is like a great transition. Basically. Yes, he's super excited about that. So that was Monday. Mm -hmm. And Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday was the application for daycare yes, and yes, yes, yes. Uh, daycare subsidy yes so when you want your kid to go to daycare here yeah, they actually if you're thinking of kindergarten you know when your child is less than four, four. if your child is not going to be four in that academic yes, year they can start kindergarten. kindergarten so then we had to start looking for daycare centers and as we realized daycare is <laughs> ah after house rent, uh -huh. it's, it's daycare. daycare. <laughs> hmm. Not it's, even food. It's expensive. Sixty dollars <laughs> per day, per day. So you should calculate that five days a week and uh, uh, in a month. But the good part is that they yes. have um, uh, a program for subsidized daycare. Mm -hmm. So what you do, there is a website, uh, it's in Ottawa here, it's called Ottawa Child Care Services. You go on their website, yeah, you right. apply for mm -hmm. subsidy, and as part of your application for subsidy, they let you apply to nine different yeah. daycares around you, nine different government, uh, government controlled daycares around you. And for the daycares also, we have those which are centers and those which are home-based. Home yes. The home-based ones are usually the nearest to you and it's a small group. Most of them are like five kids just being handled by another mother who is licensed and just does it from home. From home, yeah. yes. So that was what we did. We applied on the website and there's some of the people who mentored us another trick that don't just depend on applying on the general website. Call daycare services, call daycare centers, see if they have spots. Because one thing is applying, another thing is a spot being available mm -hmm. for your child. So we did that, we called, and uh, there is a service called We Watch Daycare Services. They have a network of home based daycare. They called us back and told us they might be able to find us something around our house. And we have an interview coming up with one of the. Tomorrow, teachers, yes. with one of the services just down our street so it saves us a lot of uh, a lot of trouble in terms of commuting <laughs> so we hope that fingers crossed we hope that goes through yeah, yeah. and then what did we do next yeah and our budget for daycare now is around uh, 950 dollars every month <sighs> so if i was saying it <laughs> my phone is heavy 950 dollars every month that is the, that is more than the money that gave me education from daycare uh, to my uh, first degree. <laughs> eh? That's what I'm paying every month. But that, what does kids do when play? Ah, uh, you see? <laughs> if you both say they don't they're not having children, make you know why you will get why. If if you know if these Europeans and Westerners say, oh I just want only one key. They know. Understand why. <laughs> they know. Mm. And our parents also. 
Apparently, yeah. there is before school services and after, after school, school services. services. So, for example, you are working, you need to leave the house at 6, uh, at six or 6.30 yeah. and your kid going to school needs to be somewhere before school starts at 8. You pay. <laughs> after school services, they close at about 3 o'clock. You won't be home. Yeah. You pay. <laughs> There's no uh, come home and stay with grandma or go to the neighbor's house. Uh, uh, you pay. The lama is money. You pay. Uh -huh. so, they say school is free, but they know how to make the money. Uh, school is free, but <laughs> there are some, you know, some payments. So that was what we did on, on Wednesday. Yes, yes. And then Thursday was the morning. Uh -huh. That's Thursday. how we contacted the community center. Yeah, yes. so Thursday we contacted the community center. center. So the community center is quite helpful in different aspects. I have to say though, I'll try to in, include the video in this video of the stuff we got from the food bank. Yes. So you call and you register for the food bank, you tell them how many uh, people are in your family and you are currently still looking for work and you just tell them your situation. Oh. Come and get food. Seafood. food. Yeah, so they provide you free food. And also, the same community center would register you with a furniture bank. Uh -huh. So a furniture bank service is basically to help you furnish your house. As you can see, our house is still empty. empty. Because we're waiting for the furniture bank to call us back. Yes. And uh, uh, assess us so that we can get furniture so you are able to get food and furniture for free so don't be in a hurry to start spending your savings on uh, mundane things like chairs uh, beds tables uh, there are services to help you provide that can provide that for you actually we, we've met somebody who got to the spoon to the sofa yeah. to the tv so these are these are gotten from donations from yeah. others where you can get pretty good stuff for free just to help you Set it down. So you want to remember food bank and you want to remember furniture banks. And remember, furniture banks, you can't just walk in. You, you have to, to be referred by a community service. And you have to be assessed that indeed you, you need do it. need it. So that, that is how furniture bank works. So that was what we did on Thursday. Friday, I was just reading for my driving test, test my knowledge yes. test. And uh, because I went to take the test on Saturday yes. in the morning, so I got up very early. The center opens at 8 30 a.m. on Saturday, 7 a.m. on weekdays. And I got there, I was number 11 on the line. I got there at about 7 30, uh -huh. and I was number 11. And then I got in, wrote my knowledge test, passed Pass. my knowledge test, and they gave Pass. me a, a G1 license. But uh, in order for me to qualify to write the G2, license which will qualify me to drive alone i need to have already had a valid license from another country so fortunately for me i have a valid license from china unfortunately for me my valid license in china is has only been valid for six months so i need to wait six months before i can take the road test that will qualify me to drive so, unfortunately for me I don't have a valid license because my license expired, I don't know, two years ago. Yeah. And um, I, can, I have to start everything from, from scratch. scratch. So, that so means if you are planning to come here, renew your Make sure you renew your, your license. Yeah. It's very important. Mm -hmm. So that means for happy, happy means to take the knowledge test, pass the knowledge test, and then wait one yeah. year Imagine before that. she can be and, allowed to And I'm the pro driver the here. And I'm just a new driver. <laughs> Me, I'm just freestyling. I'm just just you know, that I've, I've passed driving tests, you know, but I've not really tested my driving. You understand? You understand what I mean? You know, so, so yeah. that's where we are now. And uh, I think in a later video, we'll talk about some of the shocking things we have experienced here. Like, yeah. not shocking things, but some of the things that really surprised us about. I, I hope you're not comparing in, Canada to China in because Canada, some of the things that really surprised me. <laughs> so we'll make a separate video for that. So you see, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm not saying anything because I want it to be a food gist. You know, a food gist. <laughs> the juice master is back. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we just wanted to update you on what we've been doing. Everything is going well. The kids love it. We hit parks and like play centers. Yeah, and on Sunday, uh -huh. church, 
we we'll just, just put, we just, we just put uh, on Google church and uh, we picked the, the one closest, closest to the house. Yes. When they're really nice community church, yes. amazing people. They have kids sections, so our kids also love going to on church. On time, one hour, nothing more, nothing less. Uh, I, won't, <laughs> I won't comment on that. You know, I won't comment on that based on my upbringing. Yeah. I won't comment on that. So <laughs> that is. Uh, so we just came back from church. We're making lunch now, yes. and that has been our life basically. And we start again on Monday. Start the hustle, you know. Uh, and another way we've been meeting people. We we'll take our kids to the park. Uh, we've met lovely people. Yeah, meet other parents. It's been nice. All more. They are Nigerians in our neighborhood. <laughs> so uh, it's like I have people to groove with around. I'm very nice. Where like are four you? Nigerians. Where are you? Are you? Walking distance of my house. Where are my people? So, you know, I got people on my side, you know? So that is what we've been doing. And please come with us on this journey. You're going to learn a lot. It's going to help you. Like, if you do decide share, to settle in Canada. Like, share, subscribe, get us monetized. All this money I've been talking about, we need <laughs> other streams of. You know, people in Nigeria they complain. Ah, I'm working, I'm already working at five. Why are you forcing me to have a side business? Uh, Why not start? Here. Oh, um, if you don't have side business here, body will tell you. You know what they say? Body will tell you. Your body will let you know uh. that you should go and. Nobody will tell you. Your body will let you know that you should go and get side. So we need that extra income. Even if it's to repay insurance. Pay insurance for this house every month. <laughs> not not, not, not me get house so. I'm paying rental insurance every month. There's one surprising one. We said we keep this finished for the okay, short let video. Let, let me keep it for the other video. Let me let me not even say anything. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Yeah, thank you this, for watching. I yeah. will see you next time. You're actually disturbing me. This is I'm, a I'm watching Chelsea Tottenham. Please. You know, it's enough. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you.